welcome ladies and gentlemen so proud to present to you the mercedes a class a250 sport so this car is, is launched back in june 2013 in 2013 mercedes a class lineup they have two variants which are the a200 which uses a 1.6 liter turbocharged engine paired with a seven speed dual clutch transmission so that makes 154 horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque but this a250 right here uses a two liter turbocharged paired to a seven speed dual clutch transmission as well but it, it makes 208 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque but when you compare to the bmw 1 series i think this is the more powerful car and there's also the most powerful a class which are the a45 so i'll go through the exterior and interior and tell you what i like about this 2014 a class okay so let's start from the headlights so let me turn on the headlights first so even though this is the 2014 model but you get LED signal indicators and also the Xenon LED headlights so this feature also you get for the A200 so the A200 is priced tag at around 200,000 ringgit Malaysia in 2013 whereas the A250 right here is priced tag around 235,888 ringgit Malaysia so if you compare it to the spec right I think the A250 have a better spec as you can see it gets LED headlights and also LED signal indicator I kind of like this signal indicators shape when compared to the 2019 model it looks pretty semangat as you can see it looks pretty sporty whereas the new A-Class looks a bit not my liking so moving along to the grille so as you can see this being a sport line package you get this Mercedes signature dining, diamond grille design whereas the A200 you only get this trim piece right here together with the mercedes patch and you doesn't get this diamond shape it's all finished in black and this looks pretty luxury in my opinion it looks pretty classy even now mercedes still uses this kind of design in their amg package and this being an a250 as you can see the best right here is illum is laminated so that means this car has equipped with full safety system because this car is all the way from Germany so I show you the plate as you can see Mercedes-Benz Malaysia imported vehicle and Daimler AG so it's made in Germany and as you can see you get you not get the stand Mercedes badge as you found in the S class and the E class you get this pretty normal logo but hmm feels nice to the touch so moving along to the side as you can see you get your front parking sensors and this fan are functional as you can see you get some you get as you can see you can see some holes inside so this being an AMG or sport line package as you can see you get a red strip right here to maintain the sportiness of the car as you can see Mercedes actually designed the car to look like it have front sl splitter but it's not, it's apart from the bumper and four parking sensors for the front so now let's move in to the side so for the A200 you get 225 40 18 inch wheel with a wide spoke design whereas in the AMG A250 the tires are wider than the A200 so you get 235 40 18 inch so this being a sport package as you can see this car is much more lower compared to the regular A200 because this car is equipped with the AMG Sport suspension which compared to the A200 which uses the regular suspension so this car front you get Mephiston struts the rear you get multi-link setup so it does add a good driving enhancement and stability in high speed and as you can see the brake calipers are in red Mercedes-Benz well wow. as you can see this is high performance brake this so you get all around brake this and for the sport line package as you can see you get a sports badge and signal indicator at the side mirrors is LED so 
so for the A250 and also A200 for the A200 you also get this spoiler but not this this is uh, add-on so the original sport uh, the spoiler for the A200 and also the A250 it's ended here as you can see this is add-on I believe this is the A45 spoiler but it looks good but it will look good when the rim swap with the A45 multi spoke gloss black rim so at the rear so I personally prefer the old A-class taillights than the new A-class because the new A-class looks a bit small I kind of like this round fat taillights and it suits the car it gets LED taillights signal and re reversal light also in LED great feature and down here you get the Proton Saga style bumper uh, not lah the Proton Saga is actually inspired by this kind of vents and this kind of vent okay as you can see it's not functional it's just aesthetic but it looks good nonetheless so you get all round reverse sensors and also dual exhaust pipes it's the red strip as you found in the sport line which, which you doesn't get in the A200 and also a reverse camera so this is not the AMG kind of stuff so basically it doesn't get AMG badge only the AMG A45 you get that badge so we still get some chrome bits so I would appreciate when this is gloss black so it does add a more sporty feel to the car but overall this car is a proportion uh, hatchback and I show you the key okay pretty typical Mercedes key fob so interior tour so this car does not come with killer sentry okay before I get inside the car as you can see exclusive to the A250 sport package as you can see you get sport seat for the front sort of like a semi bucket seat but they are very comfortable as you can see you, you get a mixture of leather and fabric and this kind of reminds me of the Proton Persona but nonetheless it looks good the pattern looks good and you get power lumbar support and uh, illuminated Mercedes door seals okay. so for the door it's typical Mercedes as you can see the seat adjustment is on the door panel of each side and you get three sets of memory central locking and all for window in this car automatic in both directions you get side mirrors folding function so now I'm not starting the car so it won't work so exclusive to the A250 you get aluminum pedal to me it looks good so down here you get cup holders and door pockets so let's start the car Mm. Pretty muscular startup sound. So let's open the aircon. It's quite hot. So let's start from the steering wheel. So for the A250, basically you get the leather wrap, sports leather steering wheel with the flat bottom design. Whereas the A200, you get the more simple steering wheel. And this is your headlight controls this car has automatic headlights down here is your electronic parking brake so this being a A250 Sportline basically you get pedal shifters but they are not metallic this is just plastic and uh, as you can see white illuminated meter so the left spoke houses the multi information display at the instrument cluster so you press this to cycle between so now it's at your trip average fuel consumption average speed and you can cycle between your trip audio telephone and this is your driving assistance service or tire pressure warning and this is your setting instrument cluster light vehicle convenience so this is set back to your 
factory settings when, when this car is manufactured so that's about it and the left the right spoke houses the the screen control right here this is your volume button bluetooth telephone and this is your voice command system and the gear shifter for the A200 or A250 is at the right of the steering column so to engage D put your foot on the brake push it down so you can see you get your front parking sensors so to move into reverse just push it up and then as I shown you earlier on the A250 does get a reverse camera as you can see you get dynamic dynamic lines as you turn the steering wheel so to park just press this button ah, okay so you get a vanity mirror sun visor and a light so moving along to the center layout of the Mercedes A class this screen is quite small in my opinion you okay you can't touch screen basically you need to control where this down right here so down here you get your different shortcut buttons navigation telephone your bluetooth telephone seat track on and off and double as a volume so this is your keypad so this car does have all the, all the start stop this is your driving mode as you can see s means sport m means normal manual mode or the e means eco So down here you get your aircon controls. These are pretty simple aircon controls, and this is your fan speed. This is your different modes: front and rear defrost, different modes, air conditioning, and this is your temperature. So you done. You does not get any gloss black finishing, just plain matte plastic finishing. But one thing good about this matte finishing is it does not leave fingerprints or it doesn't scratch. So it's quite deep. In front, you get your 12 volt socket and a small compartment. I think you can put your house key. So right here, you get your cup holder. Open it, it reveals a rather small center armrest, but you get one USB port and also a, I believe it's HDMI port. And this car you get six airbags, anti-lock braking system, all those standard features this car does equip with. So we get soft touch materials for the dashboard, and also for the door cuts as well. And this part is wrapped in leather and red stitching. So the whole cabin is pretty sporty compared to the new A class. The new A class somehow feels like A C or E class. It's slowly moving to a more luxury hatchback style whereas this one to me it still feels pretty sporty so in terms of sportiness i would prefer the old a class than the new a class because the new a the, the new a class have i would say some ambient lighting which doesn't make the car sporty it does makes the car more like a luxury car right now so for the rear as you can see so you get red seat belt exclusive to the A250 the A200 you get black seat belts and as you can see the door opening is, is rather small compared to the new A class so you might feel a bit hard when going inside the car so let's close the door very solid let's open the door for more lightings so front seats have been adjusted a bit far back and as you can see the leg room i am about 170 cm so it's pretty decently spacious but i would say the new a class is much more spacious than this one but the people 180 cm sit 
behind the car may be a bit struggle and at the at front you get two seat pocket but it's the net type so at the rear it does not get adjustable headrest but the headrest are high enough to support different size of people and it, it doesn't get center armrest I will not complain it because this is not a big car and you get retractable handle and reading light for the rear as you can see pretty simple cabin so let's get to the boot so to pop open the boot simply press the touch pad underneath the Mercedes patch so the rear seats can be full 60-40 if you want to loot more items so for the side you get some storage and a ring right here to put some some of your items when you open it mm, wiring so as you can see the rear boot of the A class not as big when you compare it to the new A class but it's decently sized you can probably put three sizes three boxes of this size polystyrene box and you get a net right here to store some magazine or books and you get a cover right here which are attached to the boot so you get a lighting right here and this is your nothing still wiring and also a 12 volt socket right here so down here as you can see you get more storage space and a two kit so there are no spare tire because this car is run on run flat tire so you only get a tire repair kit instead of spare tire so enough for that no power boot because this is not a big car so it is it is quite easy to close fuel cap So yeah, this is my review about the 2014 Mercedes A-Class A250. So if you have any comments, please let me know at the comment section below. And if you like my videos, please remember to subscribe, like and share my videos. Cheers guys. Hope you enjoyed this video.